If you like the episode, please be sure to like and subscribe. Liking is the thumbs up. And subscribe is that little bell down there. Just hit that and you'll be reminded when new episodes pop up. Hi and welcome to today's edition of The Grape List. Today's guest is called Jazzberry. It's a part of their Sweetland Cellars edition. It is 10% alcohol and it's a actually a raspberry strawberry wine brought to us by Bordy Vineyards. They're located in Maryland, just north of Baltimore, which I think is the capital. Actually, the capital of Maryland is Annapolis. Baltimore is just where everything is. Annapolis is just where people sit around each other. So without further ado, let's dive into this. To the wine cam. So wine, what do you smell like? Definitely strawberry and raspberries are very pronounced. Sugary, so it's definitely living up to the Sweetland name. The best part of any wine tasting is doing the wine tasting. So let's see what this tastes like. It very much reminds me of cough syrup with maybe just a bit less alcohol like coming in at 10%. I think most cough syrups are higher than that, which is why you only take just a little tap full of, cap full of it but this is just like you're meant to drink a glass of it. What's a good thing to probably pair with this very sweet, very sugary wine, but it's a cheese and crackers plate. Very simple, very, uh, very neat, very easy to carry along, especially for a picnic in a park. The crackers have a nice, give you that crunch and bite that you, that you desire and the saltiness of the blue cheese provides a excellent counter to the sweet, sweet wine. Probably like cheese and, and meat if you can get it. Not, I would not say smoked salmon because smoked salmon is too light of a meat. You need something like hefty, like salami, prosciutto probably would be excellent. Salt is gonna be your friend to this very sweet wine. But you do know what? I just realized something that might actually ease its consumption. Just plain seltzer water. I feel the carbonation lifts it a bit and the carbonation makes it more effervescent. Now that is a refreshing drink. So where does this wine fall on the grape list? Well, due to its unique characteristics of being a raspberry strawberry wine instead of a traditional grape wine, um, it's, I don't wanna say sugary sweet because that's overly simplistic about it. It just, it tastes very much, it has very much the same characteristics as cough syrup. So, not exactly what I'm looking for in a wine. I'm gonna have to rate this wine as number 21 on the grape list. And as always, right-handed in life, left-handed in wine. Cheers.